Welcome everybody to Forza Motorsport 6 and today we're taking a look at the 2000 Plymouth Prowler. Now this was Chrysler's attempt at a throwback to uh, the 60s, 50s cars that looked like this or, you know, people thought looked like this. And yeah, quite frankly I think they've failed because we'll get onto the blatantly obvious thing to start with and this car is pig ugly. Be it from the bumpers at the front to the overall shape of the whole front part of the end, uh, car. Side profile is actually fairly decent, I actually like it from the side profile. And then the rear end again, bumpers are pig ugly and then the whole rear end of the boot where the, uh, and the, uh, where the uh, roof comes out of is just plain boring and I don't like the lights either. So yeah, pig ugly car quite frankly. And again they failed again uh, with the uh, Chrysler PT Cruiser which they kind of tried to do again, a throwback looking car. Yeah, and you compare this to other throwback cars of the time, like the VW Beetle or the uh, Mini Cooper, and yeah, they are fair, far better to looking cars that revoke the uh, past, but also look good in the present, and this just doesn't. <laughs> right, now onto the engine. It's a fairly decent engine, 24 valve, 3.5 litre V6, and it produces a fairly decent amount of power, 253 horsepower. 255 foot-pounds of torque, which is fairly decent. It's not hair-raisingly fast in terms of power, and certainly doesn't evoke the kind of speed that it should look like it does, but yeah, it's fairly decent, and it weighs 2,838 pounds, so it doesn't have all that much weight to look around either. So yeah, it makes the most of that power out on the track. Alright, let's get into the interior. More problems in here, quite frankly. Why the RPM gauge is right in the middle, I do not know. And then you have the speeder wall the way over there, which you can barely see from the driver's side. Because I cannot see barely any of those numbers on the left. So I have no idea if I'm doing 30 or 40 or 50, so that's pretty pointless. And the rest of it's just fairly basic. Pretty boring, to be honest. They could have gone for something a bit far a bit better than that. And then the rear end. No boot space at all. It's purely there for the. F I think that's a fuel tank. And the uh, roof itself, because obviously it's convertible. So yeah, I really don't get the point of this car, which I'll get into when we get out on the track. So yeah, see you there. Right, we're on the circuit, the Catalonia National Circuit. We'll see how it drives on the first lap, and then we'll talk through it on the second lap. So yeah, this car on the track, well it's a bit better than it is to look at, but it's not all that much better quite frankly, and yeah, I failed on that because I don't really like the 
feel of this car at all. Yeah, handling wise, it's barely average. Braking wise, it's not even all that good at all, really. Just does not f like a sports car at all. Uh, the engine is decent, it produces a decent amount of power, decent amount of torque, but it just isn't fast enough as it is. 253 horsepower should be enough in a car like this, but this does not feel like it has enough power. And the engine is a drone, quite frankly. It does not sound good at all. And handling wise, it's just, yeah, if it lacks any kind of sporting feel, quite frankly. And I can respect them for trying something different, but it just doesn't work at all, really. If you wanted a sports car, that was unique in its own way, then you've got plenty of other cars to go for. Cars that are no doubt faster and better at handling. And if you wanted something that was just a cruiser that you would look, look good in, then again, better cars than this, because this doesn't look good at all. Quite frankly, most people would be like, why you were driving this car more than something else? Because yeah, it is pig ugly. I've never met someone that uh, actually likes the look of this car. And yeah. I'm glad it's on the game because it's made me realise what it's like, but yeah, it's not a car I'm really ever going to drive again. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next one.